Swish and blick. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to turn these boring makeup brushes into these awesome Harry Potter wands. Oh, these were super easy and fun to make and they only cost me a few dollars from the dollar store which is pretty sweet. And look how awesome these look. They look so magical. So you actually don't need that much to get this look. You just need some painter's tape, a nail file, paint brushes, a hot glue gun with some extra glue sticks, some paint and of course your boring makeup brushes. So first of all, you're gonna wanna grab your painter's tape and you're gonna wanna cover the metal part around your makeup brushes, just so we don't get any paint on them. You really don't wanna do this project without doing it to all your paint brushes. Ah, yes. Next, you're gonna wanna grab that sucker of a nail file and you're just gonna wanna sand down all your makeup brushes because it will help things like the glue and the paint stick to it. If you're gonna skip this step and not even listen to me, then just get out. So I drew inspiration from four wands from the Harry Potter franchise. This is Hermione's wand. Then this is Harry Potter's wand. This is Dumbledore's wand, which to me looks like a beehive dildo thing. And then this is Voldemort's wand, which is the coolest looking wand to me. The first one I'll be making is Hermione one so just do a bunch of kind of viney swirly leafy things and it will look like this next is Dumbledore's weird ass looking wand thing so this one was actually the hardest to make and so you just have to keep doing like layers of glue but they don't like droop and shit to one side so you have to keep rotating it like a rotisserie and yeah all I can say is just keep rotating it to keep everything nice and even and then when it dries it will look very nice and it looks something like this ow Ah, ah, fucking stupid Dumbledore dildo wand. Next is the Harry Potter wand, which is pretty easy to make. You just keep doing like a little handle thing and kind of make it look like droopy wax and stuff. So yeah, just do kind of whatever you want. Be creative, like some kind of drippy designs on the, on like the shaft, I guess it's called of the wand. Ugh, why does everything look like a penis? Okay, time to do Voldemort's wand. And uh, yep, definitely starting to look like a penis again. The trick with this one was to just let the ends dry because the ends kind of had to taper out a bit. So I'm um, just let it dry and then slowly start to build it up so we can kind of give that spiky look on either side. Then it will look something like this. Final one, I just decided to do whatever I wanted. So I just made a bunch of kind of lines. And then of course I made a little penis on the end. So yeah, that was all the ones that I did. It's painting time. Okay, painting time. I just tried to stay true to the Hermione picture. And so I just did a little base coat. And afterwards I just taped it to the paint bottle. So it was just drying upright and not messing anything up. And oh, it looks like a little jousting night. Oh, it's so cute. Ah, time to paint my favorite wand. And remember, when you are done doing a base coat, remember to put it on the little cute jousting knight so he can joust with his friends. Next, I'm just painting my wand that I made and that definitely looks like a penis 100%. And remember to let him dry with his friends so they can joust together. And then this is Harry Potter's wand. Just doing a little dark base coat on that. And then of course, when you're done, let him dry and joust with his friends. They look so cute. Whoa. Whoa, okay, I don't even know what is going on. I don't care how different that guy looks, you let him penis gels with his friends. And then finally, when all those dry, all the base coats, you can just go back and do like little details and stuff of different colors, just to make the wands a little more kind of realistic looking. <laughs> then when everything is nice and dry, you can take off that painter's tape to reveal your brand new Harry Potter wands. Ah, yeah. But really, these actually turned out pretty sweet and I added a little bit of glitter to like the Dumbledore in my wand just to kind of zhuzh it up a bit. But really, these turned out pretty awesome. I think that like the Voldemort wand turned out phenomenal. I mean, like it actually kind of looks pretty realistic. Uh, some of you are probably like, oh, these ones are so stupid. But you know what? I think they actually look pretty great and it's gonna be really fun using these. How cool would it be to like make these makeup wands for someone, get them like a Harry Potter palette and like a Harry Potter book and that'd be like an awesome gift. This is also just like something super fun to do when you're by yourself or with like a friend, but these were super fun to make. Swish and a flick. Isn't that how like guys pee? 
Okay guys, these were super, super fun to make and they were very easy. So definitely if you know you got nothing to do, it's like a rainy day outside, why not turn your normal little boring brushes into some cool brushes? You could even do things like, you know, unicorn horns, you could do other cool designs. I think the Hermione one turned out like the best. But um, I also really liked the Dumbledore one for obvious reasons. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're just fun to make. I really like doing stuff like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary. Subscribe.